In this module, we'll discuss tables, a very powerful feature that helps you develop very robust integration solutions. Tables provide a convenient way to aggregate important data and have it persist across any and all flows that you create. Why should you use tables in your flows? There are many operations that you need to perform within your flows. As an example, perhaps you need to look up a value and aggregate data from different sources in order to prepare a report. Well, you can always leverage middleman applications, such as spreadsheets or databases, to address this issue with your integration solution. These methods require authentication and can take additional time. Tables provide a convenient way to aggregate important data and have it persist across any and all flows that you create. Tables help with many scenarios, such as counters, synchronizations, high-speed lookups, filters, temporary state storage while flows are in process, and communicating between independent executions. To create a new table, click on Workflows, and then click Tables. Next, click the New Table button. When naming your table, it helps to use a naming convention that will allow you to quickly locate your table and understand its purpose. By default, it will be called unnamed, so you'll definitely want to give it another one. To rename your table, click the pencil icon and type in a name and description that fits your use case. If you have data you want to import into the table, you can click Import to select and upload a CSV file. You can also click Export to export a CSV file of any data currently in your table. Fields within tables come in multiple types, similar to the fields you've come across in flows. Naturally, these include text strings, numbers, date and time objects, counters, and true or false fields. The counter field type is used for fields where the updates will all be adding to or subtracting from the current value. The advantage of using a counter field is that multiple flows can make updates to the same record at the same time without worry of conflicts or loss of data. The Workflows console gives you the tools to add, edit, and sort columns as you'd expect. For each column you wish to add, click New Column. To edit a column, click the gear icon next to the column to edit it. As with most spreadsheet-style applications, you have access to standard functionality, such as resizing columns by dragging the right border of the column header, sorting by clicking a column header, and clicking again to, to reverse that sort order, reordering columns by dragging and dropping column headers, and filtering records that match your search criteria using the Filter button. Additionally, you can control the display of each column using the Columns option. You can also easily manipulate content within your table. To add or edit, click in a row, and then enter or edit the values in a field. To delete a row, click the red trash can button. Fields that include auto, such as the row ID or creation date, are automatically generated and cannot be edited. All changes you make to a table are saved immediately. To duplicate or delete a table, locate it and hover over the right-hand side of the table with your mouse. Octa's Workflows offers a number of cards to work with your tables. To work with a table from a flow, add function cards from the tables category when you add a function. Function cards allow you to create, read, update, and delete records from one of your tables. Click the Help button at the bottom of any card for specific help on how to use that card. Tables are a valuable resource in helping you build advanced workflows. They provide a convenient way to aggregate important data and have it persist across any and all flows that you create.